Hey Internet and Melly, this is Casey and this is 25 in 52. Woo! Okay, so before I get started, you know how last week I was all, oh, the thing won't charge, da 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 da, and um, actually earlier today I was like freaking out because, oh my gosh, I can't get the stupid thing to stay charged. Yeah, you know why? These aren't rechargeable batteries. Yeah. So, um, after that frustration and the frustration of remembering how to start this, um, I want to tell you about some cool stuff that I did this week. So, um, I went and hung out with Amy and I bought this yarn, which is for making a baby hat with, and I bought a bunch of nail polish, which turned into this. I bought, uh, three bottles of nail polish, so everything here except for the white is new, so yay. And I got a bunch of tights, um, well, let me be, you know, brand appropriate or whatever, they're taggings, actually, but I got too many hands is what we got. We got black ones, and gray ones, and purple ones, and pink ones, and green ones. And now I need to buy more dresses. Yay! <laughs> so that's kind of my, like, yay stuff for now. Um, and, you know, I had such a good time hanging out with Amy the other day and talking to her. And there's been a lot on my mind. Surprise. And it really all got summed up, though, in something that my therapist said to me today. We were talking about some stuff that happened in the past week. And about how, you know, I say that I really don't want people in my life who are going to treat me poorly and make me feel bad. Um, but sometimes the decision comes up and I make the decisions that say that I, you know, want those people in my life or that I'm willing to give them endless chances. And I was thinking about, you remember um, when we first started hanging out, you had on the background of your computer, this flowchart that said, are you happy? Yes, good, no, change something. Um, I've been thinking about that a lot lately with what's going on in my life, what's going on in the lives of some of my friends. Um, it's really important. That, that flowchart is really important advice. Are you happy? Yes, no, if not, change something. Do you feel good about how people treat you? Yes, no. If not, change something. Stop seeing them. Do you like where you live? No, live somewhere else. Do you like your partner? No, d date someone else. But the thing is that that's also way more simple than it actually is. It hurts to get rid of things, people, jobs, houses, whatever. Like, that transition is really painful, and it's not, it's not simple, but it's important. And I don't know entirely what my point here is, but it's something that I'm thinking about a lot right now, where there are all of these choices that we do get to make, and we've been talking a lot about, you know, you get to make the choices and become the person that you intend to become, but the choices aren't easy. It's not actually as simple as you would like it to be, to just stop. We all have baggage and background and built up stuff that sometimes keeps us from making the decisions that are best for us. But my therapist said, you know, you'll keep getting this chance. This will come up over and over again. You'll keep getting the chance to decide what you want. And so maybe sometimes, you know, you let somebody back in when you shouldn't, or you stay somewhere you shouldn't, or you forgive something you shouldn't, or whatever. But you'll get another chance to make that decision. And all you can do is, is make the decisions that work the best for you at the time. All you can do is make the decisions that you can make. I don't know if I made a point there. But that's all the more I've really got to say about that. Um, well, I guess it's not. Nothing's ever all I've got to say about anything. Um, 
you know, like, it's hard, <laughs> it's hard to have this, to talk about this without talking about this. Um, it's easy for me to say, you know, I don't have space in my life for people who uh, treat me like I'm optional. Really super easy to say that. It is hard to, when somebody hurts me, say, you know what, no. And it's harder yet to say, no, really, no, you don't get to be part of my life anymore. Um, and I think it's hard for other people to, you know, to make other decisions for other reasons. Like, you know, you have a plan and my life's going to be like this and then everything goes kind of crazy and you have to make those decisions. You have to choose. And if you're paying attention, you choose in the way that works better for your life. But that doesn't make it not hard to do. It being better doesn't make it not hard and I don't think we talk about that enough. I don't think we talk about how difficult it is to have the life that you mean to have. It's not not easy. You know, kind of a you've got momentum towards any set of behaviors and then changing them is difficult. And this is not like, I don't know, this sounds really like, oh, you can choose to lose weight and uh, we know how I feel about that. Um but you can choose to go forward, but the choices aren't easy. The choices aren't easy. Decisions about your life aren't easy, even when you think they should be. What's weird is that I feel like I'm getting choked up right now, but I'm actually very happy. My life is going quite well. I have plane tickets. I have, you know, a hotel room for my first night there. It's all coming together. Um, but I'm... I'm thinking a lot about how difficult it is to actually get to have the life that you mean to have. So that's what I'm thinking about. That's where I'm at. I'm glad I figured out this camera thing because that makes me feel really better about my life. Um, I'm going to buy some more dresses, I guess, and make a baby hat. I love you. Bye. Whoa, it's Denny. Hey. Hey, bear. Yeah. It's a pretty attractive cat, huh?